हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद गाला इंग्लिश क्वेश्चन पेपर नंबर थ्री सेक्शन नंबर बी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्टली यू नीड टू रीड दी पोएम एंड देन यू नीड टू आंसर दी क्वेश्चंस गिवन बिलो सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट आर द एनिमल्स नॉट क्रेजी अबाउट एनिमल्स आर नॉट क्रेजी अबाउट ओनिंग मटीरियल वेल्थ सेवनटीन विच लाइन शो दैट एनिमल्स डो नॉट बिलीव इन पीपल वर्शिप द लाइन्स आर not one kneels to another nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago 18th question what does the last line of this stanza suggest the tokens are of mutual love and understanding that the ancestors of the poet used to share with the animals thousands of years ago the poet says that they dropped them and the animals kept them next are the figures of speech 19th one dash a mermaid drifting blissfully it's option number b metaphor 28 they do not low, uh, lie awake in the dark it's option number c oxymoron next are the question answers that is answer in uh, three to four sentences that are two marker questions 21st question is comment on the ending of the poem fire and ice so this question is taken from the poem fire and ice by robert frost this is a poem that tells about the end of the world this poem is revolving around the theme that human emotions are destructive the ending of the poem implies that ice has also the power to bring about the destruction of the world so we should not bother about the matter that which one of the two that is fire and ice is stronger rather we should keep in mind that both of them have destructive power we should not ignore the potential power of ice which is equally harmful 22nd question is how did belinda's pets other than custard face the pirate so this question is taken from the poem the tale of custard the dragon by ogden nash this poem is a fantasy in verse about belinda who lives alone in her house with her four pets all the people of the house pride themselves on their fearlessness and bravery except custard the dragon who is always looking for a nice safe cage all the animals other than the dragon used to boast about their bravery and made the fun of the dragon but when the pirate entered the house all got scared and ran away and disappeared except custard the dragon 23rd question what does the poet say the boy is learning from the loss of the ball try to explain this in your own words so this question is taken from the poem the ball poem by john barryman this poem is about losing something which we love and then learning to grow up it is a poem about a little boy who is experiencing grief after the loss of his ball the poet says that the boy is learning to cope up with the loss of the ball he is experiencing grief and learning to grow up in this world of possessions he learns that there are so many things in life that are to be lost and cannot be brought back it is useless to feel sorrow for it 24th question what does amanda wish to be uh, sorry why does amanda wish to be a mermaid and orphan or rapunzel this question is taken from the poem amanda by robin klein the poem focuses on the upbringing of a small child whose name is amanda it focuses on the struggles which a child is facing amanda wishes to be a mermaid so that she could drift alone blissfully in languid emerald sea she yearns to be an orphan so that she is able to uh, roam the sea and make patterns using her bare feet being rapunzel for her means living carefree in a high tower amanda wishes to be these so that she could avoid her suffocating reality now the 25th question that is describe the tiger in the wild so this question is taken from the poem a tiger in the zoo by leslie norris this poem contrasts a tiger when it is in its natural habitat and when it is imprisoned in a zoo the poet felt pity for the tiger in the zoo according to the poet the tiger should have been in the jungle the tiger in the uh, wild is majestic he is free and lies under the shades and hunts for prey he moves near the water because food is in plenty there sometimes he growls and terrorizes the villagers he is locked behind bars in a uh, concrete cell he does not take any notice of the visitors and look at the brilliant stars with his brilliant eyes now the next question you need to read the paragraph and then answer the questions that are given below so the 26th question is why did horus rob a safe every year he loved rare expensive books so he robbed a safe every year to buy books 27th question what does horus plan every year 
Each year Horace planned carefully just what he would do for robbing stole enough to last for 12 years. 28th one, why did Horace feel happy in spite of having a uh, hay fever? The two servants who remained in the Grange while the family was in London had gone to the movies. He had planned to steal there so he felt happy in spite of having hay fever. Now again you need to read the paragraph and then you need to answer the questions that are given. 29th question is what household chores did uh, Madame Loisel learn doing? Madame Loisel learned the odious work of a kitchen. 30th one what did Madame Loisel's husband do professionally? Madame Loisel's husband worked evenings putting the books of some merchants in order and nights he often did copying at 5 sous a page. And here we come to the end of section number B. I hope you have understood section number B completely. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section and section C will be con uh, in the description box. Sorry. And the section C will be continued in the next video. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.